Hey everyone, it's Sanner. I just want to show an app I've been using for the last couple of weeks now. Really enjoying it. It's called Sasquatch. That's not Sasquatch, but Sasquatch. And let's launch it. So this is an this is an app that does primarily two things. One, it's an amazing satellite viewer. You can scroll all around and see everything going on. You can do things that uh, you can also do things like add meso mesoanalysis to the map. I'm really excited about this app. Uh, just want to say it, this is not a paid endorsement or anything. I just found this and I'm really a big fan. So. Let's just take a look at a couple of the things this app does. Maybe you'll like it too. Uh, first off, there's a lot of different options for the map itself. You can show county borders. You can see them popping up there on the left. You can enable major highways if you wanted to do that. I think that would make the screen way too busy. You can also turn on the SPC one day outlook or day one outlook if you wanted to. You can do auto refresh, display time as local. You have as many as 48 or 50 frames, excuse me for your uh, loops and then you have different things like METAR colors that sort of thing also there are there is a subscription that enables a lot of the power user modes that i'm going to show you just so you know so you don't get surprised but some of these things are premium okay so one of the things that you'll see is uh, i mean when you open this app it's very clean like you have your satellite imagery you have the three bars up at the top the menu which we've already looked at you also have this plus sign which uh, enables you to show location also to refresh also to share I'm not going to worry about any of those then of course you have this you have you have the option between conus full disk mesoscale one mesoscale two the mesoscale uh, zooms would be pretty good on days where the uh, where the satellite view is actually zoomed in. So anyways, you have different, uh, let's get that off of there. Oh my goodness. I'm a novice at this app. You gotta forgive me. But you can check out, you know, you have blue visible, red visible. I'm a big fan of red visible, but there's blue visible also. And you can see how quick it is to change in between each of the products. You have infrared, those products right there, shortwave window IR, you have upper level water vapor IR, etc., And also derived, you have true color, snow ice RGB, day microphysics, fog detection, visible IR composite. Those are nice. But where I think this app is just like the cat's meow is when it comes to its mesoanalysis features. First off, you can just throw some METARs up on top of this. That's pretty cool. You can see, of course, temperature, dew point, wind direction, pressure, and also a precip if it's falling. One thing that I've noticed about this that I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of is that the METARs are kind of uh, sparsed out. They're, you, it's not all of them, like Durant is missing uh, on this, as is Ardmore. Um, and I know a couple here in Northwest Texas, Western North Texas are as well. So I personally would rather have all the METARs or at least the option of a low density or high density. So you have all these others too. Let's take these METARs off. And let's take a look. You can stack these. So let's say you want to see dew point and you want to see temperature at the same time. Now this is confusing as to a newer a novice, more novice user, someone who's a little bit trying to learn, but you can see things like dew points you can and temperature derived on top of each other. Or say you want to see, um, let's just say dew point and most unstable cape and you get those two right on top of each other or you can just do three at a time that's that's a little ridiculous though so let's oh my goodness forgive me forgive me i am just going crazy here with all my uh tapping so you can do you you get these really good readouts you can scroll around i mean this is mesoanalysis as it was meant to be done i am such a fan of this and you have all these all these products all of these look at this zero three kilometer cape this is incredible actually like there's just so many options you have lapse rates let's turn off that you have lapse rates of all those different options also wind shear zero to one kilometer srh zero to three kilometer srh you have effective srh and then you have composite indices let's just throw on supercell composite on top of all this and you can just see, like, it's it's all there. 
Could you imagine using this during storm season? I can. I'm going to be using it all the time. I think this and like Radar Scope or Radar Omega, it's like everything you would ever need uh, in terms of weather apps. Like really and truly, like this is almost it. The only, I mean, everything's great. The only thing I would change is have the option for a lot more METARs and or throwing mesonets. nets. Like those are all things that I would love, but everything else about this app just sings like storm enthusiast this is where it comes from so definitely sat squatch it's on the app store get it be sure to upgrade to the pro version for all these great features you won't be sorry and we'll see you next time